we got here and then we headed straight to Lowe's because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And so we had to get all of the wood for the back, building the mud room and building the bathroom. We got a toilet, we got a sink, we got a window and we got a door all for the back rooms. And we got it all unloaded. We had like 62 by fours, 11 sheets of plywood. So it was a big trip. It was one of our um, most costly trips, but also it's building the whole addition. So that's understandable, but we got all that accomplished. It's so hot out and I'm ready to go to sleep and get rejuvenated for tomorrow. So we are working on water this trip and we had two water tanks that were already at the cabin. One had a big hole in it and the other one was like 15 years old or however old. So we went and checked it out and it looks in pretty good shape. So. We just also bought a big water tank from a guy down the street who has like a junkyard basically. And they're both disgusting and so dirty. These water tanks are so gross. This thing is massive. <laughs> Some things accomplished, but they were very scattered, so it doesn't feel like we got a lot accomplished. We uh, put in the floor joists for the bathroom, and then we cleaned out the water tank and got a water tank, and that's really it. But look how pretty. So this morning we went to go work on the back part of the cabin and it flooded with all the wood in it because of the rain so we had to get a hose and siphon all the water out and then get new dirt and put it down on the floor so that was fun and now we are working on the walls finished all of the we didn't finish all of anything but we put up walls and the floor and we just have to put up the ceiling and frame the door and a lot of other things and run the plumbing so i know it's hard to see but we left this floor off because we're going to run the plumbing for the bathroom today we put up this wall with the window in it put up that wall put up this wall put in this floor so we just have to put in this wall with the door in it put in the flooring and put in the ceilings. And we have to work around this, so that will be interesting. And then this morning, so Dylan and his dad showed up this morning and we're gonna work on cutting down the way to get the water tank up the hill. So we gotta get it all the way up yonder. Mm. You look so scary, your beard is so big. <laughs> Jack, what do you think about our new pathway? Mm -hmm. So this will be the path to roll the giant 1100 gallon water tank up the hill. So it goes all the way up and it'll sit on top of this hill up here. And we're hoping it's like 50 feet above the cabin. That should make it have nice water pressure when it makes its way all the way down to the cabin. So from looking it up on Google, it says that 
a person uses like 50 gallons of water per day, which is, seems like a ton. Hopefully we use less, but we've got 1100 gallon water tank. And then we also have a 250 gallon water tank. I think we're going to get one more and they'll all be at different spots. One will be catching rainwater. One will be at the very top and then one will be at the bottom of the hill. So the pond water will run and like the pond stream will run into a barrel at the bottom. The barrel at the bottom will be pumped to the very top and then we'll have a rainwater catchment on the house and that will also be pumped to the very top so that it can be gravity fed down to the house. <laughs> So we filled the whole line with water using a five gallon bucket and a funnel. And now we have it, the line in the water coming from the pond through the creek and the suction is pulling it down. Is it flowing? Moment of truth. That's trying to finish and put the ceiling and the doors in the mudroom and bathroom so that's enclosed and then we clear the path up to bring up the water tank and we need to get that huge thing up there so we have an 1100 gallon water tank and it's just massive and I have no idea how we're gonna get it all the way up there but we're gonna see <laughs> will be going. I don't think I'll be using this, but we're going to set it here for now. So we're done for the week and we're packing up and I'm just going to show you the things we got done. So we brought our other stove. It got rusty in the rain, but it'll wipe off and we're going to replace it here. We didn't get to that. And then we built our bench over here. You can't really see it, um, but it's like an eight foot bench along this wall. That'll be the booth and then there'll be a dining room table and then the chairs on this side. We found this huge cabinet in the back of the cabin, the old cabin that was there, and we decided to keep it and we're gonna use it uh, to hang our clothes and we'll put it in the back room. We're gonna keep all of our clothes down here. So we'll have a dresser along this back wall we'll have clothes in and then 
also in this. We also got our sink inside, so this will probably be built into cabinets, but for now we wanted it in here so we could take measurements. So the stove will be here, the sink, and then all of this will be counter space and we'll cover up the bottom part. And then we have to cover this window. I think what we're gonna do is have something here that covers it that you can open on this side and open on the bathroom side, kind of like a medicine cabinet, and there'll be shelves in the middle. We didn't do anything with paint or any inside details. We focused all on building this back part. So, so crazy. We look out the back door and there's a door back there. So it's really dark right now, but this will be the mud room or it is the mud room. So that cabinet is gonna go right here. And then our, we're putting our fridge in this back area. So our fridge will be right here. And then this is the back door. And then there will be a wall separating right here. It's so dark, I'm so sorry. So there'll be a wall, there'll be a door right here, and we'll walk in into the bathroom. And this is the bathroom area, and then we'll have a back porch. So eventually when you walk out this door, it'll be a porch, a little covered porch area, and go out into the back. I'll shut this so you can see. So this is what it looks like right now. Eventually this wall will be gone and maybe this wall will be gone and it'll just be a covered porch. And then up here we're going to use as storage and then we have to put the siding on the back and we're going to do black just like the front. It was so much work, a lot of hard work this time and it took a little bit longer than we expected. We wanted to get the water done but we haven't uh, been able to do that yet. So we got the tanks and next time we'll work on the water. Okay, so we are leaving this morning. It's about eight o'clock. We just packed everything up and I was just dropping off the four wheeler up here. There was a little tiny baby kitty down by the campsite. It was just a fresh kitten and my dogs were going insane. Uh, Dylan and I really want to, where we're gonna get two like feral cats when we move in, outdoor cats. This one was so cute, but my dogs tried to eat it, so he ran away. It was so cute, though. My phone was dead, or I would have taken a picture. Saying goodbye for now. This is like the cleanest it's ever been, really. I set some mouse traps here and there and there. We definitely still have mice, um, so working on it, but everything's pretty closed in. So this whole wall needs rechinked, and chinking is what goes in between the logs. Right now there's cement, but we need to redo it because as you can see, it's all falling out. Now we've built um, the building behind this, so at least this wall is no longer exposed to outside as like it was before. But we still need to rechink it just so it looks better and functions better because it's kind of all falling off. We are so excited to keep making progress. We need to set up the water and set up the solar. Those are the two biggest things. And then the rest are just cosmetic things. So paint and window trim and all that sort of thing. So plumbing and electric is what is really important for next trip. Hopefully we get back here in like two weeks, hopefully. But I honestly don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I want to move in. I just want to stick my bed up there and stick the couch in the living room and work every day for the rest of my life to make it home. But we have to go home and work, which sucks. The new doorknob with matching keys for the front and back. 